Cutting across to Rohini on that. Rohini, sensational claims have been made by Maitri Gora. The question is, will she be able to prove that there indeed was a marriage ceremony that was conducted between the two? Well, yes. In terms of she said that there is video footage of that. There is also photographic documentation that she has, which she said she has submitted to the police as evidence. That is why she went ahead and filed an FIR. She's also expected to address the media where she says she will reveal the details as to how she befriended uh, Karthik Gauda, the Sadan Gauda's son, where they met, how they come continue to meet, and uh, when did he actually finally they got entered into wedlock. What uh, she also said is that they met in his house in Mangalore, and they uh, married. The marriage took place in the house in the presence of the driver. There are certain details that the police have asked in terms of the investigation as to if the driver was there. They want to question the driver. They want to take these details. But another question also that is being raised from the other side, that is Sadaran Gowda himself, who is questioning the timing of this incident. He said, if this happened somewhere in June, then why raise it up at this point of time and why raise it on that particular day? There were other instances where she could have walked up to the family and talked about it. Another important point that is also being made is that Sadaran Gowda has come out with a statement saying law will take its own course. He and his family are ready to face any legal battle and he will he's sure that his son is innocent. On the other hand, Karthik Gowda very clearly dismisses it off and says there is nothing of that sort. He has he will do nothing to taint, uh, taint of his family's image, more importantly his father's image that has been built over so many years. Uh, uh, at, the, at the same time, in Karnataka also, like we have seen how Congress leaders are saying, they are also going hammer and tongs against uh, Sadan Gowda and the BJP saying this is something that needs to be uh, looked into and there has investigation, thorough investigation needs to take place. It also defiles the, the image of Karnataka as such. But mm -hmm. uh, the Karnataka chief minister has again, in a very standard uh, way of comment, has said law will take its own course and they will wait for the legalities for it. So we have seen a lot of twists and turns to the story, but what the invest investigations will reveal will be the final word. All right, uh, Rohini Swami getting us the very latest. Rohini, one quick question before we go. Till now, Sadhanam Gauda has uh, pretty much enjoyed an absolute clean reputation, hasn't he? Yes. Absolutely. And that is the point that is being made time and again, not just by Sadan Gowda's family, or also by the BJP and people who, who also uh, are, uh, who say at this point of time that when they do not believe the story that has been revealed by specifically by this model. What they're saying is that Sadan Gowda as a politician and Sadan Gowda himself said that he has grown uh, to what he is today. He has grown with trust and with credibility and nobody in his family has been brought up or in the culture of his family to spoil the image of the family and that is the point that is that he's raising time and again saying which Karthik Gauda, Sadan Gauda's son also said I will do nothing to taint the image of my father this is sub being done this is this is a kind of a plot to tarnish the image of the family because they could because Sadan Gauda is untouched they are trying to tarnish Karthik Gauda to affect the Sadan Gauda they call it a conspiracy but we'll have to wait and see whether it's a conspiracy or not Appreciate you joining us, Roini Swami and uh, T.S. Sudhira, our editor South, uh, giving us details on this latest controversy uh, which has uh, hit the BJP, the Congress having a field day, even though uh, there are no implications of this case on governance, but uh, an embarrassed BJP there, one controversy after the other. It was yesterday that it was Rajnath Singh's son, Pankaj, who was the subject of controversy, and today it is Karthik, the railway minister's son.